three things that can destroy God's plan for your life this year. According to Jeremiah 29 verse 11, the plans of God concerning our lives are good, and they are meant to bring us into the glorious end that we desire. God is the giver of good gifts. James 1 verse 17, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning. Contrary to those people who attempt to paint the picture that it is wrong to be blessed or to be blessed by God, it is important to know that God is God who blesses. God is a God who can pour open the floodgates of heaven on someone's life. You may ask how I can be blessed by the Lord. What can I do to put myself and my family in a position so that we can be blessed by the Lord? The answer is simple, obedience. Joshua 1 verse 8, keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. There are certain things that can destroy the plans of God for our lives, and we need to watch out for them. If you want to see God's plan coming to pass in your life this year, you have to do your part by staying away from anything that can destroy those plans. The first thing that can destroy your plans is sin. Romans 3 verse 23 says that all have sinned and come short of the glorious standard of God. Sin can destroy God's plan for your life this year. Make sure that you live a life of righteousness and holiness. David was a man after God's heart, but when he committed adultery and murder, he paid the price for his sin. Sin will make God to turn his face away from us. Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 2 says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Sin is the greatest factor that obstruct the blessings of God for his people. Sin destroys. Proverbs 13 verse 15, Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. There is something that we need to know about transgressing. It is a burden. Sin is never something that you live freely with. You may think you are enjoying the sin. You may think you are living a good life, but it is a burden on you. If you lie to someone, you will have to continue lying to cover the lies you have told. And then the person has to make sure they keep track of all of their lies in order to continue lying. If you are living in sin, you are creating a burden for yourself. This is the message we need at a time like this. Stop making your own life difficult. Look at the sin of fornication. It will make you worry about health. It will get you attached to people you don't want to be attached to. Look at the sin of anger. It can make you get into a fight. It can make you say hurtful things to your loved ones, hurtful things that you can never take back. My point is simple. Simply stop making life so difficult for yourself. Stop it. This world is already hard. Why should you make it harder for yourself? Sin will make your life hard. People may tell you otherwise. They may say that you will enjoy and have all good things, but you will keep creating a hard life for yourself. The Bible says in Isaiah 48 verse 22, There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. This is God making it clear that the wicked can never have peace. If we are talking about the wicked, 
we are also talking about the sinners. People who have transgressed are those God calls the wicked. They are the lawbreakers. They are the ones that will never follow the commands of God. They don't care about the things of God. They are the wicked. Proverbs 6 verse 12 gave the characteristics of the wicked people. Says, a naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. He winketh with his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. He teacheth with his fingers. Frowardness is in the heart. He deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. These people are the ones God calls the wicked ones, and they can never have peace because they have broken the law. Proverbs 28 verse 1 says, The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. The wicked will always be on the run. They will always have fear because their ways are not right. This is what Adam and Eve did in the beginning. They ran from God who created them. They forgot how he used to talk to them, how he used to visit them, and they ran. And I know there are people who are in tough, desperate situations. But rather than running to God for help, they are running from God. Because of their sin, the way of transgressors is hard. Sin has never done anything good to anyone. This year, say no to sin and say yes to holiness, righteousness and truth. The second thing that can destroy the plans that God has for you are bad habits. If the plan of God for your life will be accomplished, there are certain things you must do away with. Bad habits is one of those things that can destroy God's plan for your life. Procrastination, lack of integrity, time mismanagement, being unthoughtful, bad temper, recklessness are things that have negative impacts in people's lives. Laziness is another bad habit that will hold you back. We are not to be lazy. If there is something you know you need to do, do it. Don't wait around, don't delay it, do it. Don't hesitate, do it. Don't procrastinate, do it. Don't faff about it, do it. Don't delay it for another year or month, do it. Whether you feel like it or not, whether you feel motivation or not, do it. Laziness is a sin. Hebrews 12 verse 1 Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight, and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. There are things in people's lives which are nothing more than weights. They may not be sin, but they are weights, and all they do is hold you back. All they do is hold you down. You must unlearn every habit that is detrimental to your progress this year. You know the negative habits that you have in your life. We always have our parts to play in making sure that God's plans for our lives are accomplished. If you fail to deal with certain weaknesses you have, they can cut you short from God's desired height for you this year. You need to evaluate yourself, or you may have to ask people who are close to you to give their remarks about you. Those who love you will tell you areas of your life you need to work on. You must be humble to accept whatever area you need to improve upon in your life. You must prepare yourself for what God is preparing for you. The third thing that can destroy God's plans for you is refusing to take responsibility. Psalm 23 verse 5, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. 
my cup runneth over. This passage is often quoted by several believers without adequate understanding of it. When God opens a door for you, it is your responsibility to walk into it. Notice David didn't say that God put food into his mouth, but that he prepared a table before him in the presence of his enemies. If you will access God's plan for your life this year, you must be set to take responsibility. God will bring many opportunities across your way and you will be expected to seize them. God wants us to know that we can prosper, even in the presence of our enemies. People can hate you, but that doesn't mean God will not bless you. God has the ability to bless you in front of people who don't like you. There is an anointing of God upon your head that can make your cup to overflow, but you have to take responsibility. God had given the land of Canaan to the Israelites, but he expected them to go to battle with their enemies and claim their possessions. The Israelites didn't meet Canaan empty. Rather, they found giants there. But each time they took responsibility to fight for their possession and God granted them victory. If you fail to partner with God's plan for your life this year, you may think that God is not working for your favor. You won't have to fold your hands to get God's plan for your life accomplished. He works by principles.